Hello, good morning everyone. So today we are going to discuss, we are going to continue our discussion on how to investigate and assess the discrimination index. What you have to remember is that when we do the item analysis, difficulty level as well as the diff uh, discrimination index, they are related. And today, in order to do that, what you have to remember is that you should do the difficulty index first and then you are going to copy all the information that you have from the difficulty index and copy and paste it into a new space here it is okay after you uh paste into a new space what you are going to do is that you try to calculate first uh, you have to remember in order to classify the upper level and the lower level is going to be like 27%. So if you calculate manually, 27% of 20 is about um, 5.4. And here I'm going to make it into, into six participants. So I already uh, did the calculation for you guys. So what you are going to do is that you are going to identify one by one uh, from their score, the total score, and I'm going to list them from the those who get like highest score to the lowest one, but only in the upper group and the lower group only. For the upper group, you already know that student with code S3 got 20, and then S5 got 20, 14 got. Twenty and then student twenty got twenty, student one got nineteen, student four got nineteen. Okay, so what you are going to do is that you are going to give code and then write down the score here, but do not erase this. What you are going to do is that you are going to give like marker upper with one color and then lower with the different color. And after that, what you are going to do, you are going to identify the lower group as well. As so I can identify, after I try to identify, we can see that the student 10 get the lowest score ever, 8. And then student 9 with 9, student 8 with 12, student 16 with 12, student 17 with 12, and student 18 with 13. Okay, after you try to calculate the upper and the lower group, okay, what you are going to do is that you are going to classify this in the one single color, yellow and then pink color into the single color so basically i'm going to copy and paste it for you guys like this and then i already group it so as you can see that uh, we start from this one s3 s5 s4 20 and so forth i already make into one single group you are going to make Instead of having number, you are going to have code will be better. Code and then still having question and so forth. And then this is a total score. Again, for the lower score, they belong to the same group. You are going to make like a single group with the pink color, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know exactly the name of the color. And then you group it and then you have the code over here starting from 8 to 13, okay? And now what you are going to do is that uh, the discrimination index is related closely to the difficulty index. So you are going to copy uh, the concepts here of B, G, G and the discrimination value and copy and pasting here. So B means the total sum, J means the number of the participants, which is 6, because the 27, and D V means the uh, difficulty level or the, yeah, difficulty level in this case. Um, so as you can see, the sum among of the 6 students, those who answer correctly, uh, six student it means that all of the student answer correctly and then dv this discrimination value is to answer correctly divided by the total number of students and as you can see for questions number one this will answer correctly is six it means that the value will be one and then just uh, drop over 
from question 1 to question 20 and then J, you are going to copy and paste it. And then the TVR, the difficulty um, level, you are going to drag over from questions 1 to questions 20 and you are going to get the results like this. Okay. If we have like 0.83 and so forth. That's the upper group. And then what happened with the lower group? You did a typical things. You are going to def uh, you are going to calculate those who answer correctly. Those who answer correctly for um, lower group. Okay, by some formula, drag over from question 1 to 20. And then the number of the participant for the lower group is 6 students. And then you are going to calculate the difficulty level for that. For that group is going to be those who answer correctly divided by the number of the students in the lower group. And then we are going to have the uh, difficulty index or the difficulty level 0.83. What you are going to do with the difficulty index is that you are going to um, subtract from diff VA or the difficulty level for the upper group minus the difficulty level for the lower group and then you are going to get the result. Okay, so B11 here minus B22 sorry, B, B22. So you are going to get the result 0.16. Okay, after you know it, you are going to drag the over and then you are going to uh, make the value of it. You try to claim, you have to make the conclusion whether it is based on the discrimination index rejected or not. For example, uh, like number one is going to be rejected, number two good, good, number three reasonable, number three rejected, rejected, reasonable, and so forth until the last question's good. And after that, what you are going to do is that you are going to compare with the difficulty level that we have here. As you can see, most of them are easy, but it doesn't mean easy is not a good test. You are going to see this one for number one, you have to recheck the item. Well, for number two, even though it is easy, you may use it. Okay, so we are going to go back to this criteria. We have like three main uh, options for that as well as the relationships. So you have to consider both things. Okay, uh, I think that's enough. I hope everything is clear. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.